Steve Suffalo here again. Uh, here's a follow-up to our video that demonstrated how you mix the fountain solution. Now what we want to do is some quality control or QC checks on the chemistry. So the two basic measurements we want to make are pH. So we have a pH meter from Hannah and we have a conductivity meter here from Hannah. So you basically open up the bottom. That's all the electronics in there. This is regular faucet tap water. We press this button here to turn it on. Look at your display. Okay, when we put it into the water, you wanna stir it around a little bit to clean, clean the probe. And I don't know how well this is picking up, but the value is 7.0 and it's fluctuating a little bit from 6.9 to 7.1. So that's regular faucet tap water and a pH of seven is considered to be neutral. Anything below seven, zero to seven would be an acid and anything above seven, um, 7.1 to 14, which is the maximum would be considered a uh, alkaline or a base. Okay, so if that's the regular faucet tap water, close to seven, which what we expect, then this is the mixed working solution and it's slightly green, pale green. So let's put this in and mix it. And you can see it immediately drops. Uh, it dropped down to four and it's hovering around four, 3.8, 3.9, Four. It's going down a little bit more, maybe 3.7. So again, I don't know how well you can pick this up on the camera, but that's about a 3.7. Okay, now it's important that when you do this, you clean the probes so you don't get contamination and get a false reading. Okay, and there's a little piece of uh, felt in there. You really want to keep these probes wet. They should not dry out. And like any electronics, make sure you turn it off so you don't drain the batteries. Okay, so let's take a look at the uh, conductivity. Here's the conductivity meter, again from Hannah. Uh, it's already been turned on. Let's turn it on again. Okay, let's measure the faucet tap water. And I think the units here are micromoles, and we're getting 0 0.45. So that might be uh, 450 moles or micromoles. I have to check the units here. So I think that means that the water is um, not soft, and it's not hard. It's right in the middle, medium, in terms of hardness, softness. Okay, when we go to the mixed fountain solution, working solution, um, the conductivity immediately jumps up. And again, conductivity is the ability to conduct electricity. Uh, so here in this liquid fluid solution is the ability to conduct electricity. And that's being done by uh, dissolved solids. For example, salt and sugar would act as um, electrolytes and electrolytes conduct the electricity. So this is at 1.72 and it's hovering right around there. So again, I have to check the units, but this is how you would check both pH and conductivity. And we'll, in lecture, can talk more about the uh, consequences of having the pH too high or too low and the conductivity too high or too low. Again, that little piece of felt in there should be kept wet and moist. And we wanna turn off the power of the electronics so we don't drain the battery dead. Okay, once again, Steve Suffletto, ECC, and this was October 2019 for Lithopress 1, week number nine. Bye now.